so hello guys and welcome to my channel sir today in this video we will discuss some important numerals that are frequently asked in the power plant design subject and here we have the first numerical given as the maximum demand of our power station is given as here 96,000 kilowatt and daily load curve is described as follows and here we have given the daily load curve that means the time in hours and the respective load in megawatt is given here sir. and in this question we have to determine the two things and here the very first one we have to determine is here the load factor of the power stations similarly the load factor of the standby equipment rated at 30 megawatt that takes up all load in excess of 72 megawatt and also we have to in additional here we have to calculate its use factors so here from this load curve means from this box we can we can plot here the load curve as here from time here you can see the time 0 to from time in time in hours is given here so from 0 to 6 here the load is 48 megawatt given so from here we can see in x axis here we have given the time in hours similarly in the y axis here we have given the load in megawatt given here so for 0 to 6 hours the load is 48 megawatt so from 0 to 6 here we have the load given as 48 megawatt similarly from 6 to 8 we have 60 so from 6 to 8 we have 60 given here and from 8, 8 to 12 we have 72 and from 12 to 14 we have 60 here given here means here we have 12 to 14 here we have 12 to 14 16 12 to 14 60 and 14 to 18 we have 84 so from 14 to 18 here we have given 84 megawatt so 18 to 22 we have 96 so from here we can see time in hours from 18 to 22 we can see 96 megawatt is given similarly 22 to 24 we have 48 so from 22 to 24 we have 48 megawatt given sir so this is the load curve and now we have in first we have to determine the load factor so to determine the load factors first we need to calculate the energy generated and here energy generated means area under the load curve so energy generated will be here here you can see from the from this table here 0 to 6 we have 48 so 0 to 6 the difference is 6 so 6 into 48 similarly 6 to 8 the difference is 2 so 2 into 60 and from 8 to 12 the difference is here 4 so 4 into 72 and 12 to 14 and again the difference is 2 so 2 into 60 and 14 to 18 here the difference is 4 so 4 into 84 and 18 to 22 again the difference is here 4 so 4 into 96 and 22 to 24 the difference is 2 so 2 into 48 so here we have 48 into 6 and here 6 is the difference means 48 into 0 to 6 difference is 6 similarly 16 into difference is 2 here so similarly here we have written 16 into 2 plus 72 into 4 plus 16 into 2 plus 84 into 4 plus 96 into 4 plus 48 into 2 so we will get here 1632 megawatt hour and here in kilowatt hour we have to multiply with 10 to power 3 so 1632 into 10 to power 3 gives the value in kilowatt hour now for load factors uh, average load so to determine the average load we have to divide it by 24 so we'll get here 68000 kilowatt and the maximum demand is given as 96000 kilowatt here you can see in the question it is given as the maximum demand of power station is 96000 kilowatt given so maximum demand is 96000 given in the question sir so in order to calculate the load factors or to determine the load factor here we have the formula average load over maximum demand and just now we have calculated the average load at average load as 68000 kilowatt and the maximum demand is here 96000 so on calculating we will get the load factor as 0.71 similarly land factor for a standby equipment and here what is the load factor for a standby equipment rated at 30 megawatt that takes up all load in excess of 72 megawatt and above 72 megawatt here we have 1 84 similarly the next one is 96 so here you can see 
so for above 72 we have 84 so 84 minus 72 similarly 96 minus 72 we'll get here 12 megawatt for 4 hours that is from 14 to 18 given in the table similarly 96 minus 72 means 24 megawatt for 4 hours similarly it is for 18 to 22 here you can see the load excess of 72 megawatt given so above 74 above 72 megawatt here we have 84 for 14 to 18 and similarly 96 for 18 to 22 so 84 minus 12 for 14 to 18 hours and similarly 96 minus 72 for 18 to 22 hours so here energy generated by standby equipment so for energy generated by standby equipment will be here since here we have 12 megawatt for 4 hours similarly 24 megawatt for 4 hours since the difference between 14 to 18 is 4, similarly 18 to 22 is 4. So energy generated will be 12 into 4 plus 24 into 4. Means here 12 into 4 plus 24 into 4. And this is the megawatt and we need to calculate this in kilowatt. So multiply this with the 10 to power 3. So we'll get here 144 into 10 to power 3 kilowatt hours. And time for which the standby equipment remains in operation from the load, from the load curve. So here we have 4 hours. Similarly, 4 hours. So, 4 plus 4 get 8 hours. So, total will be here 8 hours. So, average will be here. Here, energy generated is 144 into 10 power 3. So, to calculate the average, we have to multiply with 8 hours here. Means, time for external equipment remains in operation. Means, here we have given the 8 hours. So, divided by 8, we will get here 18 into 10 power 3 kilowatt. Now, load factors. So in order to calculate the load factor, we have average load by maximum demand. So average load is given as 18 into 10 power 3 kilowatt. 18 into 10 power 3 kilowatt given upon this 24 into 10 power 3. Means 24 into 10 power 3, this will be. Means right now the maximum demand is here 24 megawatt. So 24 into 10 power 3. So we'll get here 0 0.75. Now, in order to calculate the use factors, here we have the formula E upon C into T and here E represents the energy generated. Similarly, C is the capacity of standby equipment and here T dash represents the actual number of hours that, that plant has been in operations. So, use factor will be, means E is the energy generated. So, for energy generated, just now we have calculated for standby equipment that is 144 into 10 power 3 kilowatt hours. So, energy generated in place of you have 144 into 10 power 3 upon C into T and C is the capacity of standby equipment. And here the capacity of standby equipment is given as 30 megawatt. And similarly the time is here the time is given as here the standby for 8 hours given. So, if you calculate we will get here 0 0.6 use factors. So, our final use factor is this. Here we have given 30 megawatt here. And in place of C, C is the capacity of standby equipment. So in place of C, you have 30 megawatt given in the question. Sir. So in this, you can calculate this type of numericals. Similarly, here we have the next one. And this is also repeatedly asked in the final exam. Sir. And here we have the next one as a power station has to supply load as follows. And time in hours is given as 0 to 6, we have 45, 45 megawatt given. Similarly, 6 to 12, we have 135 megawatt given. And from 12 to 14, we have 90 megawatt. And from 14 to 18, we have 150. And 18 to 24, we have 75 megawatt given. And in this question, we have to determine the load curve, load duration curve. And we have to choose the suitable generating unit to supply the load. And also, we have to calculate the load factors and as well as the plant capacity factors. So first, we need to draw the, lo uh, the load curve. So for load curve here, we can see from 0 to 6, we have 45 megawatt given. So from 0 to 6, we have 45 given here. Similarly, from 6 to 12, we, we have given 40, here we have 135 megawatt given. And from 12 to 14, here we have 90 megawatt given. Similarly, from 14 to 18, here we have 150. And from 18 to 14, uh, means 18 to 24, we have 75. So this is the load curve. And if you arrange this from increasing to decreasing orders, we will get the load duration curve here. 
so for load duration curve here we have the maximum value 150 and then we have 135 and this is in again in decreasing order so 90 75 45 and here we can see if you select the generating units so one generating units of 45 megawatt means from here to here so from here to here you can select one generating units and for, and that generating units will be of capacity of 45 megawatt similarly from here to here we can calculate second generating units means first generating units for 0 to 24 and the second generating unit is from 0 to 18 and you and you can select similarly the third generating unit from 0 to this 10 and the third generating unit from 0 to 4 and here we can select one generating unit unit one of 45 megawatt and that will run for 24 hours and similarly second generating unit of 45 megawatt again will take and that will run for 18 hours so you can see unit 2 is selected up to 18 hours here from here to here means 0 to 18 similarly the third generating units unit means unit 3 of 45 megawatt and that will run for 14 hours means 0 to 10 here means 10 hours and the third is for 0 to 4 and fourth generating unit will be for 15 megawatt since our maximum demand is 150 so 45 plus 45 plus 45 gives 135 and plus 15 gives 150 so our total maximum demand is here 150 megawatt and also there will be one standby units and one additional standby units means unit 5 can be kept as a standby and its capacity will be equals to the capacity of biggest set and here the capacity of biggest set is 45 megawatt so its capacity will be 45 means the standby capacity means one additional unit 5 will be kept as a standby and its capacity will be 45 megawatt so here to determine the load factor energy generator will be 45 into 6 here you can see means this 45 into 6 similarly 135 into 62 will have a uh, difference 6 similarly 2 into 14 we have difference 2 so 2 into 90 similarly 14 to 18 we have difference a uh, 4 so 4 into 150 similarly 18 to 24 we have difference again 6 so 6 into 75 so here we have 6 into 75 so we'll get here 2310 megawatt hour now average load will be so to calculate average load we have to we have to divide it by 24 and this is in megawatt hour so to determine in kilowatt we have to multiply with 10 power 3 so right now it will be 96250 kilowatt and now the maximum demand since the maximum demand is given in the question here you have so from the list load curve we can see the maximum demand here is 150 or from this load duration curve also you can see the maximum demand is 150 here and 150 megawatt is given so maximum demand will be 150 megawatt and to calculate in kilowatt we have to multiply 10 power 3 means 15 followed by 40 kilowatt so load factor will be average load upon maximum demand and here we have average load given similarly maximum demand is also given so if we divide these average load upon maximum demand we will get 0.64 and in order to calculate the plant capacity factors so to calculate the plant capacity factors we have the formula e upon c into t and here e is the energy generated in kilowatt hours and just now we have calculated the energy generated here as 2310 megawatt hours and c is the capacity of the plant and the capacity of the plant will be here here one generating unit is of 45 megawatt and that will run for 24 hours similarly second generating unit of 45 megawatt is given and that will run for 18 hours and third is also for 45 megawatt and that will, and that will run for 10 hours and, and again also one standby unit is given and that is also the capacity of 45 megawatt and here the four generating units is for 15 megawatt so altogether 45 megawatt will be one two three and one additional is standby and and the fourth one here and, and the fifth one this is means fourth generating units means 15 megawatt is given here so for a standby unit we can write here 45 into 4 means all together 4, four units are used for four units are used means 3 for each of 45 and one standby units is given as also 45 megawatt and one of 15 megawatt is given so 1 into 15 so so we'll get here 195 megawatt so 195 in 10 power 3 gives 195 in 10 power 3 kilowatt 
and t is the number of hours in the given period time means 24 hours and now plant capacity factors we know e, e upon c into t and we have just calculated the value of e as 2310 so 2310 10 power 3 and in place of c we have here just now we have calculated the value of c as 195 into 10 power 3 and it is the number of hours in given periods and number of hours is 24 hours so once you substitute we will get the plant capacity factor as 0 0.497 so in this you can calculate such type of numericals thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you